Now, I realize it's a lot to expect baseline common decency from Keemstar, and maybe that's on me for hoping for the bare minimum, but it feels like with something as straightforward and clear-cut as abuse, maybe we could just all agree that that's bad. Call me crazy, but opposing domestic abuse seems like not too much to ask from anyone. So you can imagine my surprise when Keemstar decides to try and nuance Amaranth's abuse and paint her as, as at fault in some of these tweets that he made. Clearly the husband is abusive. She showed the texts. Okay, we can all agree on that, so maybe this won't be so bad. But let me stop you right there. When it comes to abuse, there is no but. There is no nuance. There is no other side. There is only the survivor, who needs to be removed from the situation and given any and all physical and emotional support and therapy that she may need. And then there's the abuser, who needs to be executed, needs to be tried in a court of law, and locked away for life. See, after Amaranth's livestream came out, in which she exposes her husband for the abusive asshole that he is, I kind of expected there would be some people latching onto controversial opinions in order to get internet updates and claim that they were saying the hard things that no one else is willing to talk about. However, I had kind of assumed that these takes would be from anonymous nobodies online who still live in their parents' basement and insist that being a Reddit mod is a real job, mom. Usually, when something like this breaks, anybody with a reputation to maintain takes the sides of the masses. And specifically with instances of abuse, this is the right thing to do. Because when it comes to abuse, again, there is no but. Now, if I get into a physical fight with someone, there could be some nuance there, and very possibly there are two sides to that story. He was harassing me, so I pushed him, and then he punched me. A reasonable person could take either side here. But with abuse, that other side does not exist. There is only one side in which someone is being taken advantage of and abused, and the abuser is the lowest form of life on the planet. Now, my entire channel is based around nuance and looking at both sides of a story and being fair and giving everybody a chance to explain themselves. But in an abusive relationship, there is no other side. Now, I do realize that Keemstar kind of has a history of tweeting controversial things. That's kind of his MO. He gets hate tweets and replies, and he uses that to generate views and maintain relevancy and ultimately monetize. But I think in this instance, it's important to go through all the tweets and talk about what's wrong with them. Now, usually I have a bunch of different sections all leading up to kind of a big point in conclusion at the end. But with this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different where I just go through Keemstar's tweets about the situation one at a time and talk about why they're wrong. Starting with the first one. Amaranth told her chat about her husband who has been in control of her bank accounts, taking the money, also threatening to kill her dogs, etc. And he could have stopped right there. He covered the factual statements from a story that already happened, and he gave no opinion on the entire matter. That is good journalism right there. There is no reason to say anything else. Keemstar could have quit while he was ahead, but alas, uh, not interjecting his misogynistic and often victim-blaming opinions is just really not what he does. Guys online been donating to her for years without realizing the money was going to her husband. That part kind of skirts the line, but it doesn't say anything bad per se. So I think in a vacuum that could have been fine. And then he kept going. Clearly husband is abusing. She showed the texts. Once again, a fine tweet. But then he just has to go and insert his opinion about the whole matter into the next part of the tweet in order to get those juicy, juicy internet up dudes. But Amaranth herself has scammed so many guys online claiming she was single for years. These Twitch streamers don't care about their viewers. They all just use you and your low IQs to fill their pockets. The first part about Amaranth scamming people is just factually wrong. It's a business exchange in which she created and provided a service, in this case her Twitch and OnlyFans, and her viewers gave her money for it. That's the definition of a simple economy economy, goods and or services in exchange for currency or something else of value. There's no scamming here. Viewers wanted to see her scantily clad, and they were willing to pay for it. So she gave that to them, and accepted their money. No scams to be found here. And as for Twitch streamers not caring, I mean, of course not. Caring was never part of the transaction. When I order food, it doesn't matter to me if the waiter cares about me. That's not part of his job. His job is to bring me food, treat me well, and give me an overall good experience at the restaurant. I'm not under any kind of delusion that just because the waiter laughs at my bad jokes or makes small talk that they care about me personally. Obviously they don't. It's just them doing their job. Now, he does clarify this statement in a later tweet, but since we're addressing these chronologically, we'll have to get to that part later. Next tweet. Also, Amaranth for years got praised for being a genius businesswoman. Based on this new information, the hidden husband behind the scenes was the one making all the business moves. So, dot dot dot. This is just disgusting, because it seeks to invalidate Amaranth's work, while also implying that her husband is a business genius. And just to clarify, her husband spent years abusing her. 
We don't say nice things to people that spend years abusing other people. It's like when adults tell kids on a playground, don't say mean things to people. Um, except in this instance, we tell the kids on the playground that if that person is an abuser, we only say mean things to them. They do not deserve nice things being said. I also want to give you a hypothetical to highlight what just a pathetic take this is. We're all probably familiar with PewDiePie, and while he's had his unfortunate moments. I've always respected his work ethic because essentially it's just him and his editor Sive and they've been dominating YouTube for years. This takes a tremendous amount of work and effort and one could argue that he was able to pull it off because he was a business genius. Essentially by himself creating a YouTube empire so big that even Mr. Beast hasn't been able to dethrone it yet. But now imagine that PewDiePie's wife Marzia had kept a PewDiePie and Sive locked in a basement for all of these years and threatened them with harm or, or financial destruction of some kind if they didn't crank out all these videos. You wouldn't call Marzia a business genius for that. Rich plantation owners who enslaved people and forced them to work to death for the owner's profits are not business geniuses either. Exploitation isn't genius. It's just exploitation. And after tweeting this trifecta of misogyny, Keemstar got a lot of backlash. Imagine that. But. To be fair, after getting this backlash, he walked back his statements from before, and then he apologized and promised to do better next time. I'm just kidding. No, he doubled down. Nobody owes you or anyone else the details of their personal relationships or lack thereof. This is true. People are entitled to their privacy, especially with something as public and open as streaming, where the more stuff you share about your personal life, the more likely people are to connect with you and therefore give you money. True, but that's not the point being made isn't the point being made is lying about your relationship status for monetary gain. I mean, this is Twitter, so you don't really have to respond to the actual point and straw mans are a way of life here. I can only assume he had a seizure while typing that tweet, but in any instance. Is he missing the part where Amaranth was forced to hide the relationship? She wanted to come out, but her husband straight up wouldn't let her. So why is she to blame for this? If someone held a gun to a kid's head and said, hey, Andrew, unless you throw a rock through that random guy's window, I'm going to shoot the kid. Obviously, I'm going to throw the rock through the window in order to save the kid's life. But then imagine someone comes up to me and says, I was kind of messed up that you threw a rock through that dude's window. I mean, that's pretty wrong. You would think that was insane. Someone's life was at stake. I didn't have a choice. And here, the husband is threatening to financially ruin them and kill Amaranth's dogs. Amaranth didn't have a choice here. So to blame her is absolutely vile. Also, nobody, let alone Keemstar, is entitled to know anything about Amaranth's personal life. Amaranth owes nobody anything. And so if she wants to keep a secret about her personal life, she's absolutely allowed to do that. She can do whatever the f she wants. Dude, I know you are disgusting and don't respect women, but a victim of abuse? Really? She's a victim. Also, fire your researcher. Clearly they missed the part where he is the one that forced her to lie about their relationship status. Thank you, Pocket, for agreeing with me. I love women and have all the respect in the world for women. Please explain to me why her husband made her claim she was single so they could make more money, right? Do you support contact creators lying to their audience for donations? The first part is a factually incorrect statement and sounds an awful lot like a content creator lying to their audience for money. But who am I to judge? But I want to discuss this last sentence. Do you support content creators lying to their audience for money? The answer is generally no, with some exceptions, but this is a bad faith argument. Because Amaranth wasn't saying she was single or not single, nor was that a big selling point for her content. Lying to your audience for money would be something like claiming you had debts that you couldn't pay off and you needed money, so when people gave you money, you would then gamble it away because you had a secret gambling addiction and rinse repeat until you've scammed people out of almost $300,000. That is lying to your audience for money. What Amaranth did was just not tell her audience something. And while her husband had forced her to do it, even if she didn't, choosing not to tell your audience about something so that you're able to maintain some shred of privacy in your personal life is very different from just making up stories about stuff so that people give you money. It's a difference between me not telling you I have a wife because I want to maintain that part of my life and keep it to myself, and me saying that I'm going to be evicted unless you like, comment, subscribe, and then send me money. They're completely different scenarios. One is lying and trying to take advantage of people, and one is just you choosing not to talk about and share something that's private to you. And by the way, I don't have a wife. That's why this finger remains barren. I think we can all agree domestic violence or any form of abuse is bad, and everyone, including myself, is covering that aspect of the story. Are you, though? Because you've made 
one tweet about the abuse, and then like five follow-ups about Amaranth lying, and then one suggesting the abusive husband is a business genius? Not a great ratio there, Keemstar. But this other aspect of lying to viewers for money should also be covered. I don't think it should. Not only because it straight up did not happen like he's portraying but it, but also because it's so inconsequential compared to the main aspect of the story, which is the abuse. It's not like she was promising to date donors. If dudes came up with a whole scenario in their head because they thought she was single, that's on them. I agree. True simps are also responsible. Oh, so, okay, simps are actually responsible. Content creators shouldn't lie to their audience, though. Oh no, okay, no, actually you are doubling down on Amaranth being responsible. What a take. I've been getting a lot of tweets saying I support Amaranth getting abused. To be fair, he did not say he supported the abuse or that I'm supporting her abuser. Well, you did imply her husband was a business genius or that I'm victim blaming. Well, you did say it was her fault she was taking advantage of people even though she was being forced to do it against her will. I was just making the point that I don't feel like any content creator should lie to their fan base for money. It's wrong. Which is a fine thing to say. And in most instances, I think I would agree that content creators shouldn't lie to their viewer base for money. But that's not what happened here. She wasn't going around telling people she was single as part of her big thing or her appeal. She just wasn't mentioning that she had a husband. Also, her husband forced her to say that she didn't get a choice here. I deleted the whole Amaranth thread. Too many people are making bad faith arguments. Ironic, coming from a guy whose entire career is based around bad faith arguments, but go on. Manipulating what I said and straight lying. I also need to take some responsibility for not communicating my points better. I'm going to respond to all of this live on at the Keemstar Show. See, normally I would be happy for someone taking responsibility for poor communication, but I just can't with Keemstar. It's a consistent pattern of him attacking people for no reason and then making bad faith arguments and then using that to generate viewership on his show, which he monetizes. Even here, he plugs his show where people can watch and boost his numbers and get him more money. It's just how he operates. And I don't think that'll change. So the three things we need to take away from this video are, Keemstar's thoughts are trash, Amaranth has no fault in any of this, and if someone is a victim of horrific, years-long abuse, we owe them only love and support while they recover. So please make sure to love yourselves and all the people around you, and I'll catch you next video.